guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today we are going to be doing a collab we me i'm going to be doing a collab with two other youtubers diana hoffman and charles winch and basically charles winch put up a video um of a collab with pink puddle 2 um, I'll leave Pink Puddle link down below as well. Um, basically, they both had a Juvia's Place palette, and she said, "Well, does anyone else have one? Because they'd want to look. You should love to do some more collabs in a different different type of look. See what looks you can do with the palettes." So I told her I had three. So um, this one I've had a while. This is the Masquerade Mini, and I'm going to show you the colours. And this I've shown this so many times on my channel and it's just amazing and then these two are recent purchases Um, this one is the Zulu palette it's huge pans and this one is the Doucet palette and basically we've agreed to do a festival type look so I have no idea what I'm doing what look I'm going for. I've got like all my brushes laid out. I've got like all my spectrum brushes that I use on clients and I've got some fluffy crown brushes in the wings waiting. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna see what look I can go for. Um, as you can see, I've already done my eyebrows. I just need to prime my lids which I'm gonna do now so I'm gonna fast forward this bit because I do this all the time and you don't need to see me priming my lids it's just using the MAC paint pot in soft soft ochre paint pot so I'm just gonna zoom through this bit and I'll see you when I'm done Okay, I look a bit crazy. Um, and I'm not going to set this concealer. I also use the Collection Last of Perfection in Fair, number one. Fair number one. That's blurry as hell, but anyway. Um, because the paint away, the paint away, the paint part didn't look that pigmented. So, I'm just going to go in with, I don't know what to do. Okay, so I'm going to go into the Doucet palette and I'm going to go into this shade here which is called Creme and I'm just going to, with a big fluffy brush, that is clean, it's just, it's a Spectrum C06 and I'm just going to pop that, ooh look at that pink prettiness. Um, So I'm patting it on first and then I'm going to blend it in after. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. <laughs> That's a joke. I do have hooded eyes so I tend to, if I look over here, I'm looking in the mirror um, and I need to make sure that what I bring up into the crease, I have to sort of bring up a little bit above so I don't lose everything when I open my eyes. Okay, so it looks darker in one eye than the other, and that's because the light. The light is not straight because I don't have a straight light of the wall behind you. Anyway, let me just. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't 
don't know what look to do, people. Um, let's have a think. Let's have a think. I'm thinking. We've gone with gone in with the pink. These don't have names in, but I'm thinking maybe going in with this. Sort of deepen, deepen the crease a little bit. And ooh, look at that. I need to tap that a bit. And again, just going in, just deepen. And people may think I'm holding my brush a bit far down, but if you hold your brush a bit further down, it gives you a better blend. I know up there you've got more control over it, but you don't have much flexibility with it, so. Loving that, loving that. So I'm just going to do the other side. And again, I'm going to be looking over here to make sure that I'm not totally losing that colour. Hooded eye problems. And then I'm just going to take a bit more of that creme colour and just blend them together above my so strange working with two palettes I'm going to introduce a third in a minute I thought if we're going to do it for a festival look why not um, go all out with all three palettes so I'm just going to blend that bit further Difficult, a bit more difficult with this eye because I don't know if you can see it, but this bit sticks out more because I've got a scar that runs right there. So I know that this eye looks a bit different to this eye, but you know, you work with what you got. Anyway, I'm gonna take an even smaller blending brush. This brush, sorry, the next one down was a B06, which I did, and then I'm gonna take a little. This is the Eco Tools blend brush. It has a blend on one side, smudge on the other. And then we're gonna go into, um, I don't know. I think we're gonna go into my Mini Masquerade palette. And I want to go into this color here, which is called Zobo. Zobo. You probably see I've already dipped into it a few times and I'm just gonna pat that on the outer corner because there's no point going too far up into the crease because hooded eyes so I'm just gonna pat that outside first keep building it And then just blend it in a little bit. I'm going to bring it underneath slightly as well. See? And the other side. So hard doing the opposite side. I don't know where to look because I've got a mirror there, a mirror here, and the screen there. Is anybody else pull for your face and want to do the makeup? Okay, so we're leaving the inside blank because we're going to put some shimmer and shine in there. So I don't know what to do. I think. I'm going to go into the Mini Masquerade palette again and I'm going to take 
this here, I've not used this colour yet. It's called Akida. Let's just swatch it and see what we've got. Whacking myself in the head. Hmm. It's not as shimmery as I thought it was going to be. Let's change that. Actually, no. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in. I can right go with this on the inside. This is called Bori. This is called Bori. Bori. Just gonna go in with a, a flat brush. This is BK10 concealer brush from Crown. I'm not using it as a concealer brush. I'm just gonna whack it in there. Pick up some of this. It might not go right. It might look a total mess. But we can fix it with glitter, so let's try it. I'm doing the smaller brush because for some reason it doesn't want to get. Can you see that there? Does it want to get that bit? I don't know why it was doing it. Oh, I'm liking this. So, I'm going to go back in. Do some more blending because it's looking a bit harsh. I'm just going to go back in with the red, this red, again, from the Zulu, and I'm just going to bring it up a little bit, so it doesn't look like I've blended a harsh, well, it doesn't look like I haven't blended, I need to... These are not looks I normally do. So, when it comes to doing looks on myself, I'm very boring. So, this was a fun little challenge. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just Take a little bit of the red on the blender brush and See it looks kind of pinky when you put it on. It doesn't look as red but I'm not I'm not mad at that. It's just slightly confusing. I'm gonna get that purple that I used before, which is the Zobo. I'm just gonna deepen the outside of my crease just a little bit because I've lost a bit in the blend. And this is why I don't do my base first because if you're going for a, a look like this. Or a look that has very pigmented shadows. The likelihood is you're going to have a bit of fallout. And you're going to need to do some cleaning. So that is it for the matte part. Now we're going to go for some shining, 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 shining glitter. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some glitter and sparkles now. Um, These I got off eBay. Um, and they are cos cosmetic grade glitter, but because they are quite chunky, I'm going to use this stuff on my face. So I think I'm going to go with these ones. So they're kind of a pinky colour. I'm going to dob some, dob some, put some purple ones in and some more pinky ones. 
and then on my eyelids I'm gonna go for the slightly smaller glitters um, and it's just gonna be the little pink sparkles that are gonna go on there first off I'm gonna put a bit of I do have glitter glue somewhere but I don't know where it is I do have glitter glue somewhere and um, I'm just gonna put some eyelash glue on my eyelid and then this is where it gets really messy Okay, so I'm going to keep looking down and I'm just going to grab some glitter and place it There we are, sparkle sparkle um, I'm going to add a bit more sparkle I'm going to do the other eye now. Okay, so I've got some glitter on. I'm just going to fix a little bit of this and I'll be right back. Okay, so... <laughs> I've got glitter and glue everywhere, but before I've put lashes, not lashes, I'm not lashes, before I've put eyeliner and mascara on, this is what it looks like so far. I put a little bit of this purple on the outside, and then I put this pink on the inside. And there's fallout everywhere. It's just glitter storm. So I'm going to try and clean this up. Put some eyeliner on. Put some um hmm, put some eyeliner on and put some mascara on. And I'm gonna put my base on and then I'm gonna come back and add some more glitter to the face. Hi, I'm back again. Okay, you can see I'm a messy worker. I found my glitter primer and I've done my base. So my base was done with, just in case you're interested, um, the e.l.f. foundation in sand. Um, and I've bronzed slightly with the revolution well it was the old school makeup revolution in bronze bronzer kiss but i don't even know if this is available anymore because it changed and rebranded so i don't know the eyeliner is my new fave it's elastic color gel eyeliner from maybelline no it's not i'm lying sorry collection and it's just a black eyeliner and then for mascara, I don't know where everything is. I've literally got a mess in front of me. But it's, oh, it's a sample that I received of the Their Real Mascara. Um, and then the lipstick I've got on, I might put some glitter on my lips afterwards. But it's the Matte Me Metallic from Sleek in Rusted Rose. So I was going with the pinky theme. And then the glitters that I've got to go on my face are the chunkier glitters that I showed you earlier from eBay. You can't really see the colour in there, but... So, I've put a little bit of highlighter on. <laughs> she says a little. And this is the Karl Lagerfeld one that we got from Glousy Box. So it's like a blush, but it put it as highlighter as well. Because again, it's... Um, a rosy one um, so I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of this glitter primer out I found my next one I'm
Shall we just dab some of these on the face? And then we're going to go in with, I'm going to have glitter everywhere. Just saying, I'm going to be a hexagonal glittery mess in a minute. Because they're quite chunky. Um, got some purple. Generally where you'd put your highlight. Um, so yeah, there's me making my festivally look more festivally. Just gonna, <laughs> this is, this is the way you've got to try and match it. So let's see if I can match it down this side. I've already gone wrong, I think. And this is going to be hell to get off. But do it for the tube. Do it for the My room is going to be full of glitter. Right. This is the festival. Um, I think I should put some glitter on my lips. What should we go for, guys? Um, let's see what I've got. Let's see what I've got in my... So, just need to clean up. So, this is the festival look that I came up with. You could put some dangly earrings in, I look a bit bug eyed. I've eaten a lot of glitter, but I'm absolutely loving this look. I will leave the palettes that I used. Links down below. I will leave Charmed Wench and Darren Hoffman's. <laughs> I will leave Charmed Wench and Darren Hoffman's channel listed down below as well. Yeah, I can't leave the glitters linked because they're off eBay and I bought them ages ago. If I can find them and they're still available, I'll link them. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving this. I might just walk out of my house like this now and be like, yeah, it's festival vibes, blah, 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 blah. I'm feeling myself today. Loving it. Whew. Anyway, in case y'all are wondering, nails, prime honey. Kind of matching, kind of not. Kind of don't care because I kind of love this look. Anyway, this has been a heck of a long video. I'm going to have to try and edit this down as much as I can. But this is my look. And I'm super happy with it. And it was done just, just as a reminder with these three palettes from um, Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place. And I love them. So... Thank you for Charmed, thank you to, I can't speak today. Thank you to Charmed Wench for inviting me to collab with you. Um, absolutely love your channel. Yeah, if you do like videos like this and you would like to see more fun, vibrant, less boring looks from yours truly, because I tend to do no makeup or boring makeup, um, please give this a thumbs up, like, comment subscribe share the video share the love and yeah i need to clean 
myself and clean this glitter off my desk because it is ridiculous. But there we go. Until next time, be kind, be happy, and stay true to you. And I'll see y'all very soon. Bye.